Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and today I want to talk about Pokemon Snap because the game just came out and for those of you guys that uh, played it back in the day, then this is your chance to jump in and uh, go around taking photos of all the cool Pokemon. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys some gameplay from the very beginning of the game, just kind of the first sort of run through of it so you get at least like an early idea as to how it plays. But I also want to take a moment to very kindly thank Nintendo for uh, sending something over to me. It's not a sponsor video, but they did send this to me, and that is the uh, Instax printer from Fujifilm. So Fujifilm have this printer called the Instax, which you can use to print your own personal photos, but relevant to Pokemon Snap is that it's now had an update to their app, and there's the Instax Mini Link for Nintendo Switch. So if you guys have ever taken photos or videos on your Switch, you'll know that you can share them to your iPhone by doing the QR code scan thing. And that now seamlessly links with this app. So what you can now do is in games like Pokemon Snap, Animal Crossing, Mario, stuff like that, then you can actually put your photos into this and use the printer to physically print your own Pokemon Snap photos, which is awesome given that Pokemon Snap is all about taking photos, then uh, you can find your cool Pokemon in your cool shots and actually have them printed out in real life so you can put them on display. Also in the app there's different themes depending on whether you want to have like a Pokemon Snap theme, an Animal Crossing theme, a Mario theme, and there's various different sort of like, you know, filters and whatnot you can apply, but the main thing is if you want to do this you quite simply take your photos and then share them from your Switch to your phone, from the phone to the printer, and then from the printer to uh, the physical photographs. So uh, that was a quick preview of uh, this cool app, this kind of cool addition for those of you guys that want to maybe get a little bit more out of the game. But jumping back to the game now, of course, if you guys want to take a look, I will leave you guys to uh, watch this out. Basically, you know, you're not out here to catch Pokemon, you're out here to photograph Pokemon. So you get to kind of go along your leisurely way, you get to uh, photograph whatever is in that particular tour, and then you get graded based on the quality of your photos, how close the Pokemon one is, other Pokemon in the backgrounds, whether you've kind of got a good shot, stuff like that. So uh, it's pretty self-explanatory and I'm going to let you guys enjoy this gameplay. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys played Pokemon Snap back in the day or if this is going to be your first sort of foray into the series. And of course, be sure to keep it locked for plenty more. But... Thank you. Anyway. Yep. Now. Mm. By the way. <laughs> yep. Anyway. You can point the camera up and down, and even spin all the way around left or right. You can use motion controls to aim your camera, too. Oh, look! Here comes Pikachu! Try getting a shot of that Pikachu! First, move the pointer so it's lined up with Pikachu. Did you see that shape appear around Pikachu just now? Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. It'll be important when the professor's evaluating your photos. Try snapping a photo. That's it! Great job! But since Pikachu's a little 
little far away. It looks kind of small, huh? Times like this call for zooming in. To zoom in, just hold the ZL button. You'll stay zoomed in until you let go. Try snapping a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. Great! See how much bigger it looked that time? You want your subject's whole body smack dab in the middle of the frame. Looking big? Looks like you've already gotten the hang of using your camera. Oh, great! You can adjust your camera and motion controls from the settings menu. You can also adjust them from the pause menu while you're out doing research. Hey, Professor! You covered... Hello. Anyway. First of all. Discovery. Nice work. How was it? All right. Now then. By the way. <laughs> Here's the thing. Jeez. Mm -hmm. to Florio Nature Park. The Neo One will automatically follow a set route. You can just focus on looking around and taking photos.
That symbol marks the spot where you'll teleport back to camp. Basically, it's the end of the course. When you get back, I'll take a look at your photo. Welcome back. Anyway.
If you want to catch more from us at Arex Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 Paradise Central and Vestmore streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.